And it's nice to it's nice to like have the knowledge beyond like a lick I learned, you know. So it's like instead of like I know this lick or that lick, you know. Now it's like you know music, and you can take your sixth, and bend it up to your major seven. And like you can like explore, I was just going a sequence, like bending up from the sixth to the seventh, and then, you see what I'm doing? So six, bend up to seven, and then I play the uh, seven, fifth, sixth, seventh. So it's like after the bend. And then I do the same thing on the next like step of the ladder where I bend from the seven to the root. And then I play the root, six, seven, you right? And then from the root to the nine, and I'm just repeating over and over. Uh. Oh. Oh. You know, oof. Then once you're once you get up to there, you could play like your E7 chord. Yeah, yeah. I got that from like those like New Orleans blues uh, piano players, like uh, Randy Newman and uh, Dr. John. So I thought C major seven, right? And then I thought, now we'll switch to the E chord. So instead of thinking of this shape, or this shape, or you know this here, I thought of this because I'm up in this area already. Cool. Now I started from the sixth which is exactly where we started on our major chord. <laughs> That's just where I was. So I took the six and I bend up, up to the flat seven, because it's an E chord, E seven. Cool? Yeah, you want this, followed by this, but you need it in one motion, like that. It's hard, I know. Yeah, I do it all with the ring, ring finger. Yep. And I put the other fingers behind it, you know? So, like, teamwork. And then what I did was I, after, I released down to the third of the chord, which was the 13th fret, yeah. And then I put my ring finger on the, um, I put my ring finger on the 13th fret of the A string, which is the fifth of the chord. Like that right there is like. You can take a little riff and be like. kind of got a little weepy, almost like a hook, like reminds me of like, it could be like a Steve Miller hook or something. Well, I took that shape, right? And then I moved it down a fret. Yeah. If I wanted to be really interesting, I could do it again. And then, and that's really important. That's where I'm playing the third of the E and the root of the E. So that's where my shape had to change to skip a fret. As where before I was like, you know, I was doing this, these two fingers, the same shape. 